Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 13, Proof of the Pythagorean Theorem. So, just like at the end of Module 2, there were a couple of lessons on the Pythagorean Theorem. And now here we are back again at the end of Module 3, and we're reviewing the Pythagorean Theorem yet again. And in this case, we're going to use it as, as proving a triangle is right or not. Okay, so exercise one and two, parts A and B, are to be done on your own. So see if you can remember the Pythagorean theorem and how to solve for a missing side using it. And pause the video, and when you're done, come back, and I'm going to work through each of these, and we can check our answers. Okay, so hopefully you've had a chance to do these, so here we go, I'm going to begin, and as always, we always start with a formula. So, step one, write formula, step two, substitute givens, step three, simplify, and finally you solve. Okay, so write the formula. The formula for the Pythagorean theorem is side A squared plus side B squared, or one leg squared plus B, leg B squared, equals the hypotenuse C squared. There's the Pythagorean theorem. Remember, when we have an angle A, the angle A is right here. And so therefore, it formed the opposite side BC. So this side BC would be also considered side A. So A opposite is A. Okay, so I'm going to put 12 squared. Okay, I'm just going to do this on the first one, just to review. And then, now we're going to go back. Angle B is right here. Angle B is this angle here, formed by these two sides. This is angle B. The side opposite is right here. So the opposite side to B is AC, or lowercase b. So I'm going to write lowercase b, or 5, squared, equals, and then finally the hypotenuse, c, is always opposite the right angle. Here's the right angle, straight across there, c. And we do not know that, so I'm going to leave it c squared. So, step one, I wrote the formula. Step two, I substituted in my givens. Step three, I'm going to simplify. 12 squared is 144, 5 squared is 25, equals c squared. Simplify, 144 plus 25 is 169, equals c squared. And then we take the square root of c squared to get my c on this side. But what you do to one side of an equation, you absolutely have to do to the other side, or it's no longer equal. So if I take the square root of c squared, I have to take, take the square root of 169. And the square root of 169 is 13. So the length of side C is 13. Okay. All right, part B. Let me see if I can just move these out of the way a little bit. Okay, so we're going to try that again. Again, we're going to write the formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Opposite of A is A, which is here. 1.2 squared plus opposite of b is over here so this is my b 0 0.5 squared equals my hypotenuse c squared well if 12 squared is 144 1.2 squared is 1.44 and if 5 squared is 25 0 0.5 is going to be 0 0.25 equals c squared 1.44 plus 0.25 is 1.69 equals c squared. Look familiar? It's just a divisor of, or it's got divisible by 10, so it's a scale factor of one tenth of the problem number one. And finally, when we take the square root of both sides, we get c equal to the square root of 1.69 is 1.3. So c equals 1.3. Okay, continuing on just like that, we're going to write the formula. A squared plus B squared 
equals C squared. Substitute in the givens. Across from A is A, and that is 4. Across from B, angle B is B. We do not know it, so I'm just going to leave B squared. And across from C, or the right angle, is the, C, is the side C, which is 5 squared. So the difference between number 1, A, and B, and 2 is we solve for the hypotenuse in the first two, but now we're solving for one of the legs here. So the formula is the same. The substitution locations are different, and you solve accordingly. So I forgot my squared there. So 4 squared is 16, plus B squared is still B squared, and 5 squared is 25. In order to move this 16 over to here, we have to do the inverse operation of addition. So we're going to subtract 16, and what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. 16 minus 16 is 0, plus B squared is just B squared, and 25 minus 16 is 9. Move up, change colors here so you see what I'm doing. I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and the square root of B squared is B, and the square root of 9 is 3. So side AC or B, side B is 3. Okay, and then finally, we're going to do the last one. Again, start with the formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Substitute in the givens. Here is a. Across from a is a prime, or side a, which is 0 0.4, plus across from b is side b. We do not know, so that stays b squared. And across from the right angle is the hypotenuse c, 0 0.5 squared. So again, 0.4 squared, so 0.4 times 0.4 is 0.16 plus b squared equals 0.5 squared is 0.25, 0 0.25. Subtract 0.16 from both sides. And when I do that, that cancels and I get b squared equals 0.25 minus 0.16 equals 0.09. And when I take the square root of b squared and 0 or 0 0.09, I will get the square root of b squared, which is b, and the square root of 0 0.09, which is 0 0.3. And as you can see here, I had a 4, I had a 5. This has to be a 3. This is a special right triangle, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so another way you could have done this is you could have said... Side B has to be 3 since we have 4 and 5 already, a 3, 4, 5 special right triangle. And the same goes here, actually. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 is a scale of 1 tenth of a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So any scale multiple of a special right triangle is still a special right triangle. Okay, so now we have this triangle here. Actually, there's three triangles in this diagram. And let me explain that first. Okay. I have a triangle RTS, which is this one. I have a triangle QTR, which is this one. Or you could look at the whole big picture. That one. So there's the green triangle, the red triangle, and the big blue triangle. Okay, so there are three triangles here. So what we're going to do is determine the length of QS. I want to know what this long bottom base side is. And they gave us a hint. It says to use the Pythagorean theorem twice. Okay. Well, what they mean is we have this right triangle here. So I'm going to do this in blue. Try to be a little bit neater than last time. Okay. So we have this blue triangle. It is a right triangle. And since it's a right triangle, I have a, the Pythagorean theorem I can use. So I can say the side A squared plus the leg B squared equals the hypotenuse C squared. So, write the formula. Substitute in the givens. Well, it does not matter what you call A and B. Just make sure that you use 25 as your hypotenuse. That is always C. So my 25 is going over here. The side that is opposite the 90 has to be C. So I could have said 15 squared for my A plus B squared. Or I could have written A squared plus 15 squared. It does not matter if the leg is A or B when they are named differently. So 15 squared is 225 plus B squared equals, and 25 squared is 625. 
I subtract is 225 to get b squared by itself. Then this cancels and I get b squared. And 625 minus 225 is 400. So like before, whenever we take the, whenever we have a b squared or an a squared or a c squared, to do the inverse of squaring is square root, and the square root of b squared is b, and the square root of 400 is 20. So I just found ts. ts is 20. But we're not done. They want qs. They want the whole thing. So now I have this right triangle here. Okay? And I know this is a right angle because qts is a straight line. Okay, and that's 180 degrees right here. This is called a linear pair. There are two angles that share a common side that form a straight line. That's a linear pair. And a straight angle is 180 degrees. So if one angle is 90, the other has to add up to 180. So 90 plus 90 is 180. All right, so this is my C. Don't forget that. So I set up my formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. It does not matter which I name A or B. I will leave it A squared this time. And I'm going to call 15 my B squared. Okay. Actually, let's not do that. Because if you look over here, if this was my side B or A here, I called it 15. So let's just keep, stick to that. So 15 squared plus B squared equals C squared, which is 17 squared. So write the formula, substitute in the given, simplify, 15 squared is 225, b squared equals 17 squared is 289, subtract 225 from both sides, and that cancels, and I get b squared equals 9 minus 5 is 4, 8 minus 2 is 6, 2 minus 2 is 0, b squared is 64. If I take the square root of both sides, I get B equals 8. Okay. thought I clicked on the black there. I'll just do this. Just wanted to emphasize that step. So I have B equal to 8. So now I would say, well, segment QT plus segment Segment QT plus TS. Segment QT plus segment TS equals segment QS. Determine the length of segment QS. QT is 8 plus TS is 20 equals QS. 8 plus 20 is 28 equals QS. Okay. So the length of QS is 28. Okay. All right. So that is the end of lesson 13. Go do your problem set.